black caffeinated beverage. Mm -mm. Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. How are you doing? Tell me in the comment section below because I'm actually interested in people and how they're doing. Um, it's time. Oh, it's good. It's time to rock. Uh, or maybe it's time to teach you some acoustic guitar. Before I do, let me tell you a little story. And it's very short, so don't worry. It won't be very boring or too long. Um, this company is Faith uh, Acoustic Guitars. Faith Guitars, actually I've got a load of them, but let me show you the other one, because it's really pretty. This is my little parlor. I love the parlor guitars. They're really, um, if you're not used to acoustic guitars, they're very, very easy to play. It kind of feels like playing an electric guitar because the neck is so, the scale range, the uh, scale leg, too much caffeine is shorter and it's uh, nice and easy to play. So these feel great. Little cutaway part here, um, built in electrics and all that kind of thing. Anyway, why am I talking about Faith guitars other than the fact that I play them and I'm endorsed by Faith? Well, the company that, um, that owns Faith. Sounds great, doesn't it? Uh, actually, were responsible for the birth of Chapman guitars. Um, got a really good relationship with a guy called Alex Mew at Faith Guitars. He's a super nice guy. He's one of the industry's good guys. That's a good guy, chord change for you. <laughs> Essentially, you probably know the story, but without Faith Guitars and my connection with Faith Guitars, um, the company that owns them would never have. Uh, helped Chapman Guitars to launch the first ever guitar, the ML1. And so I hold, Ch I hold Faith Guitars dear to my heart because the people there really gave me that helping hand when I really needed it, do you know what I mean? I mean, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have bought out, you know, the two models and dominated the global sphere uh, with, with what I do. So I really just owe them such a debt and the guitars are absolutely astounding. Faith guitars are just incredible, you know. I mean, these things, this guitar, I mean, I bought this one maybe, maybe eight years ago. And it was the first acoustic guitar I picked up and played. And the whole thing resonated the same way. It wasn't like a neck and a body and there were separate parts. It just kind of the whole thing gave off the same vibe. And, and I actually, I can remember, clear as day, sat in the shop, strumming a chord, and I think it was a G-sharp 13, something like that, and I think I just went, oh yeah, and, you know, listened to the sound of the body from the front, and the top, and the back, because it's kind of interesting the way it, the way you get different vibes from different parts of the body, and it just spoke to me. They make guitars with, with amazing materials, uh, they make them in Indonesia, um, and they do a really, really good job. So anyway, here's the thing, before I teach you one of my tunes, and maybe a few other tunes on acoustic guitars by Faith. Because I love Faith guitars so much, and um, I owe them a debt of gratitude, and they did so much for me, it would mean a lot for me if you guys would vote for Faith Guitars in the upcoming MIA Awards, the link of which you will see in the Show More section down here. I created a bit line, so it's a little short link, you can click on that for me. The MIA Awards are music awards where people get to vote on your favourite retailer, favourite acoustic guitar brand, amplifier brand, that kind of thing. And because Faith are a very small British company, and normally this award is won by companies like Yamaha, massive global Japanese or American, you know, huge brands. It would be great for a little British brand to win. And they, Faith would love to get some USA distribution and they just can't do it without winning things like the MIA Awards. So a vote for Faith is a vote for Chappers. And the glory of Chapman Guitars, because really they helped birth all of that. So if you could vote for Faith, it would mean a lot to me. The link is down there. The guitar that they've got up for vote is the Faith Venus High Gloss. I haven't actually got one here, but it's a fantastic guitar. So click on that, vote for it, and I'll love you forever. I do anyway, <laughs> but there you go. Anyway, that's enough of that. And I thought in honor of Faith, and, and in thanks to you guys for voting for Faith at the MIA Awards, I would teach you a bunch of acoustic guitar tunes. Now the first one I'm gonna teach you is Idle Hands. 
um, which is on YouTube. In fact, there's a couple of videos previous. If this is backwards in time, then I guess this is forwards in time. Um, it's a couple of videos back from, from where I am now. And it's a very easy song to play. Um, it's actually quite a good one for learning, singing and playing, because it's a steady, simple, plucked rhythm for the verse and a very easy strummed chord pattern for the chorus. I'll teach you the whole thing. So the first thing you've got to do is tune your guitar to C standard. Now I'm pretty much sure I'm in tune. Yeah, that's cool. It's good. These strings are <laughs> very soft. So uh, what I've done is I've just got 10s on it and I should really have put 12s on it. Uh, but I couldn't be bothered, to be honest. I actually really love the sound of old strings on the acoustic guitar and I, I've specifically not changed these for about three years. So uh, these are Didario strings. That just shows you how good they are. And what I do is I play it back here. And I have the kind of nasally, twangy sound you get from playing back here coupled with the sort of slightly dead strings. It's just a weird thing that I have. Anyway, so tune to C standard. <laughs> so, here's how it sounds. That's the verse, nice and easy. There's a little bridge, the bridge is just A minor, C, G, <clears throat> E minor, and then the chorus is just a C, G, and an A power chord, and what I do is I change some of the notes on the chord. So let's start with that verse, it's just a power chord like I said, and all we're going to do is we're going to go, if this is thumb, first, second, third finger, we're going to go down in a roll, thumb, first, second, back to the thumb for the bass note again, and then backwards down that chord, so we're going to go, so all together you get eight notes that sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so down, one, two, three, back to the bass note, and then up from the bottom of the chord. So that roll is a really good standard thing to practice. It's just nice to do. You get that double part on the bottom. If you're really clever, and I'm not, you can go up down with the thumb for the last part. See what I mean? So, up, down, up, down. I can't do it, but you could do. I've seen bass players do it all the time. So what we do now is we literally remove the first thing, you don't need it now, and we're gonna play the open C note here. Exactly the same pattern, no change. And then we're gonna bar right down, third fret, play the same pattern, but this time we're still brooting on the uh, E string, which is now C string. Now the last chord is a little tiny bit different, a little bit harder, so you might want to practice the previous bunch of chords first. All we do is place the second finger on the fifth fret, and then the first half, the first part of the row is very normal, we just go thumb, one, two, thumb. But then we're going to go backwards in a roll using four, three, two, one. So we're going to go. That's E, B, G, D. So you get. Like that. So putting it all together really slowly, you get this. Give you a close up. Mm -hmm. 
since I'm here close up, we'll do the bridge part, which is just A minor. C9. G. E minor. And then for the chorus, what I'm doing is I'm going C9. But when I hit the A, I make sure not to play that B string and get an A major, otherwise I'm going... Which is just an A power chord. And I'm adding this 9 in, and I'm pushing it forward. Or... So... Tired of the tour, wasted by a man, wasted by all his idle hands. And it's nice and easy, you can always just play the A chord if you want. So. And by the way, I'm intentionally hitting this. This is um, supposed to sound a bit Celtic and a bit like a, a Balron drum. enjoyed that. Practice the chords one at a time, get them nice and slow, endure the agony of learning to pick annoying chords <laughs> with your fingers. <laughs> if you have any questions about this particular tune, Idle Hands by me, Rob Chapman, leave them in the comments section below and I will do my utmost uh, to answer them for you. You guys take it easy. Chappers out.